Hi, Ben Griffin here with SC Shires to talk about bells, soldered versus unsoldered, as well as the many different treatments that we have. All of our odd number bells have a soldered bead wire in that. This is the wire that's along that the brass rolls over. We solder it into place. All of our even number bells, the twos and the eights, have an unsoldered bead wire. The brass cinches the wire into place. And depending on what you choose, you're going to wind up with some very different characteristics. Our soldered bead bells have a very well-defined center, great forward projection, very crisp articulations, and a well-defined slot to the center of the note. This is going to be very familiar to people that have played king trombones or perhaps even Bach trombones. Bells with an unsoldered bead wire typically have a wider feel to them. There's a greater halo of sound immediately surrounding the player. There's a little bit more timbral flexibility, but there's less definition to the center of the slot to the player, and the articulations can sometimes become splashy. This is going to be very familiar to players of contrabones and some Edwards models. In addition to bell material, weight, and construction, we have several different treatments that we can offer on our bells to further bring out certain characteristics. These are noted by a suffix after the bell code. If it starts with a T, we're generally dealing with the weight at the edge of the bell. The T8 and the T7 get progressively lighter at the end of the bell. The lighter the weight at the end of the bell, typically the wider the feel and the wider the sound is. It also gives you a little bit more tamper flexibility, particularly towards the more brilliant side of things. Our S8 treatment is a special treatment that particularly brings our T2-5 bells closer to that of what Bach was producing in the 70s and early 80s. This has become very popular with our T2-5YM S8 bell. In addition to the other treatments, we offer a couple of different annealing treatments of the bell. Typically, this brings out more of the lower fundamental core of the sound as well as providing more flexibility. There isn't quite the same amount of forward projection, which in some cases is a good thing. This moves progressively through our A4 and A5 treatments, the A5 being more severe. If you have questions about our bell treatments or anything else, please give us a shout. Info at seshires.com or 508-634-6805.